Good afternoon, groovy citizens, and happy Motivational Monday to each and every one of you. Not only is it Monday, you guys, but it's also Memorial Day. And I just want to ask that as you go about your day, I want you to take time to remember the brave men and women who fought for this country but never made it home. So, phone <clears throat> book update failed. Thank you. Having said that, I shared two posts this morning on my social media platforms. And one of them said, all gave, some gave all. Remember them this Memorial Day. The other one is a quote by President, President Barack Obama that says, our nation owes a debt to its fallen heroes that we can never fully repay. Y'all, I want y'all to forgive me because for some reason my nose is itching. I don't know if it's the pollen, the what, the what, but it is getting on my nerves. So having said that, I'm gonna jump into this video. I only have seven, five points that I'm gonna share with you. Then I'm gonna bid you good day because I am going to get some editing done today. My goal is to get this editing done by Wednesday. And in order to do that, I've got to edit five chapters per day. I can do it, yes I can. And so I'm going to do that starting today. And if I get more done today, that's fine. Since I'm, I'm off today and I don't have to go anywhere. Well, I, that's not true. I'm gonna do two chapters and then I'm gonna head up to my sisters because we're working on finalizing the plans for our family reunion this year. And then I'll come on back and do three more. And if I feel like it, I'll do more than that, but definitely the three more. So, oh, and y'all, look at this, I broke my nail. I broke a nail. I said, Lord have mercy. I just got them done on Saturday. So because today's a holiday, the nail salon is closed, but I will go tomorrow to get this one nail repaired. Because we guess what? We're not going to let it ruin our day. Now, today's topic, is, I'm going to be sharing some daily practices for inner strength and peace. Number one, be ready for the unexpected when you wake up in the morning. So tell yourself the people that you are going to deal with today will be meddling, ungrateful, arrogant, dishonest, jealous, and downright mean, but I can handle it. And I say that because <clears throat> as you go about your day, you are going, excuse me y'all, again, I say, I don't know, I think it's just weather's making my nose itch. As you go about your day, you are going to encounter at least one of the people that I just shared with you, probably more, but at least one. So you've got to tell yourself that I can handle it. So that's why I pray in the morning and I say, Lord, I can handle anything that the devil tries to throw my way. Why? Because I have you standing right beside me. <clears throat> and I know that I don't have to face anything alone. And so I want you to tell yourself that because you will encounter, like I said, at least one of these people, maybe more. And if you're not ready, they will take you to a place that you had not planned on going. And I can say that because I've been down that road before. So just prepare, prepare yourself for the unexpected. And guess what? If you don't, that's wonderful. That is wonderful. But just prepare yourself so in case you do. Number two, stop worrying about things you can't control. Some are going to be in your power, within your power, and others won't. So let God handle those things. Do you know, it took me a while before I got to a place where I had to say to myself, Michelle, you cannot handle everything. Because in my mind, I could. And so I had to learn how to, I'm sharing with other people how to let God handle those things, but I wasn't doing it for myself. So now, whenever life gets too heavy, I just take my hands off of it and I let God do what only he can do best. Number three, keep calm and strive to be like the rock that waves keep crashing over. Y'all, this is powerful. So it stands unmoved. When I say it, I'm talking about the rocks. Stands unmoved and unbothered even as the raging sea crashes up against it. I say that's powerful because if you've ever been to the water's edge, you've seen how the, the waves come in and they smash up against the rocks. But those rocks are unmoved, they're unbothered, they're not going anywhere. They're not phased by that water that's coming and in and out and crashing up against it. You know why? Because they're grounded. They know their strength and they know that that water is not going to hurt them at all. And so I want you to become like those rocks. I want you to become grounded, unmoved, unfazed by the things that the devil tries to throw your way. 
and the devil comes in many forms. Let's just say that, okay? So just be like those things and honey, life will be great. Number four, be happy with what you have. It is not the person that has very little that is poor but the one that has a lot and craves more. I say that to say that, <coughs> excuse me, it's too many times I encounter people who are always complaining about what they don't have. And if you know me, then you know, I'm, the, I'm that person that I'll sit and I'll listen to you, I'll nod, all of that, I'll smile, all of that. And then when I get a, a break in the conversation, I'm gonna say, well now, you've told me about all the things that you don't have. Tell me what you do have. Tell me some of the things that you do have. And honey, they get to rattling off this list and you say, well, you just told me about 20 things that you do have, but you spent more time telling me about the 10 things that you don't have or that you want more of. And so I encourage people all the time, stop spending so much time worrying about and talking about the things that you don't have and focus on what you do have. That's why every day when I pray before I go to bed, when I wake up in the morning, I always say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for what you've given me. I thank you for what I have. I thank you for the things that I don't have. You know why? Because if I don't have them, God is saying, Michelle, either you're not ready for them or that's not what you need. So I thank God for that as well. And I always say to him, Lord, if you don't see fit to bless me with anything else, I am happy with what I have. And the, the most valuable thing is life. I have life. Because when you go to bed at night, there is no guarantee that you're going to wake up in the morning. We all hope to, and we pray and ask God to allow us to. But the reality is, is that he doesn't have to allow you to do that. So I'm grateful just for you waking me up every day. Some people aren't even grateful for that. They'll say, okay, well, Lord, yeah, you woke me up. That's all fine and good, but I still don't have a job. I still don't have money in my bank account. I still don't have this, that, and the other. Come on now, you ought to be grateful that God just saw fit to, to wake your retarded tail up. Let me move on. Number five, last but not least, accept everything that happens. You see, everything happens for a reason. Nothing ever just happens. And that's a perfect way to end this video. Nothing ever just happens. Anything that you're going through right now, and I can smile when I say this, but anything that you're going through right now, just know that nothing just happens. It may have taken you by surprise, but it didn't take God by surprise. He knew that thing was coming. He knew that relationship was going to come to an end. He knew that friendship was going to come to an end. He knew that that house or that car that you had, you were going to lose it. He knew that job you had was going to go away. He knew all of that long before you knew it. So it came as a surprise to you, but it didn't come as a surprise to God. And guess what? The beauty of it, the reason why I can smile even talking about this is because nothing ever just happens. If it's happening, I promise you it's because God is allowing it to happen. God is allowing it. Y'all, my face, Lord have mercy. It's a, God is allowing it to happen because he's got something better for you. He needs you to open your eyes and say, okay, Lord, you have my attention. What is it that you're trying to show me? And then he can show you what it is that he needs to show you because he's got something better for you. That's why I say, whatever you're dealing with, just know it's not happening just because God has nothing else better to do but decide, besides allow you to go through some stuff. He's allowing it to happen because it's got better for you, but he needs you to open your mind, close your mouth, open your mind, open your eyes and pay attention talk to him, rely on him, come to him on bended knee saying, Lord, what is it that you would have for me that I need to see because I'm losing everything around me? And on that note, you guys, the rain's starting to pick up. I hope I have my umbrella in the back. I do because the rain is starting to pick up and I'm going to get my behind one out of here because I have so many things I need to do today. But Thank you so much for giving me just a few minutes of your time to speak life into you, to encourage you and give you some steps that you can take to practice daily to build up your inner strength and success because you deserve it. 
You may not think it, other people may not think it, but I think it and you deserve it. So if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I wanna say welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. If this is not your first rodeo, I wanna say welcome back. You know, I miss you when I don't get a chance to see you. Go out there, enjoy the rest of your day. No matter where you go or what you do, whoever you hang out with, have fun, but be careful. You know the drill and you definitely know the spiel. I love you all to the moon and back and there is nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, that you can ever do about it because it'll never change. I love you all and as always, the best is yet to come, both for you and for me. We just have to open up our minds and be ready to receive it. Love you, we'll talk again on Wednesday.